Hello and welcome back to the Brandy Kill Win channel and another video on Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Now, before this video starts, I just want to say a couple things unrelated. One, I want you guys to subscribe to my second channel, Brandy Can Live. I decided I need to start uploading there a little bit more, so I semi recently uploaded a video talking about another hobby I have, which is reading, oddly enough. But I talk about like comics I'm reading and stuff like that. I read a Suicide Squad comment comic and you know i thought that it was really fun it was about king shark of course my boy but yeah I, i'd appreciate if you go check it out if that's not incentive to you i'm going to be as of filming this now it's march 25th i plan tomorrow to watch the documentary docuseries uh quiet on set which is gonna be a very hard watch i've heard from several people probably like how i'm glad my mom died was kind of a hard read but, yeah, uh, if you guys are interested in that, go check out my my second channel, Brandon Can Live. Link's in the description always, and in the end screen, go check it out. It'd mean a lot, honestly. Second, I want to apologize for not uploading that much. I have been playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Persona 3 Reload, and, you know, I've been trying to dodge spoilers for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I mean, I'm not finished with the game yet so it's been a little tough doing that and also i am working on new transition slides and end screens and stuff like that so i am working to improve my videos but i haven't been uploading recently i apologize the uploads are going to come back including suicide squad content so yeah Anyways, let's get on with today's video, and depending on who you are, you're either going to love this topic or you're going to hate it, and that is my video on my honest thoughts on Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is partially invalid now, because I feel like when it comes to the story specifically, I had rose-colored lenses, as they say, or rose-colored glasses, whatever it is. I was so, I've been so hyped about this game for so long, and you know, I had... I just have such faith in Rocksteady, and, you know, I wanted to game the game to do well so badly that I think I convinced myself that the story is actually better than it actually is. And that's saying something for the fact that in that video, my honest reactions, I mean, my honest thoughts on Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, I said that the story was mediocre at best. It's actually bad. So I went and replayed some of it. And I'll be honest. There, for the most part, up until I think the Brainiac fight, the writing still is pretty good, pretty funny. There are funny ha-has. But then you get to the Brainiac fight, and then it's like King Shark is like confronting Brainiac. He's like, oh, we're he's uh say your mighty thing or something, because we are easily distracted. And like Brainiac's like, oh, Suicide Squad fitting name considering the circumstances and then uh harley says okay brainiac which that was fine and then there's yeah. boomerangs laugh they're like not taking it seriously at all i mean if you think about who the characters are i mean it makes sense but still like i don't know i feel iffy about it so like my honest conclusion about this game if i'm being truly honest with you guys is that it's not a good Arkham game. I will be truly real with it. And the story is bad so far. I do have faith in Rocksteady that they'll be able to at least make it a mediocre story with season one coming up in a day or two. So I do have faith that they'll be able to do that. But um, as it is now, it's just not good. And honestly, I would wait a little while if you haven't bought the game already to purchase this game once more content comes out because you know <sighs> waiting through season zero it's it's been tough i'm not gonna lie like i know i mentioned i have two other games i've been playing but you know when i want to hop back in suicide squad when all i can do is just the three incursion missions over and over just on harder difficulties and you know learning new characters which that is a plus i'll admit that was a plus to doing that i did get used to harley pretty quickly and then i am getting into deadshot and i really don't care about captain boomerang i tried him and i just it makes me dizzy whenever i try to play as him i don't know i just don't have him i guess 
But, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like people will have their opinions on games. Like, I feel like this is what I'm going to call the Spider-Man 2 effect. I'm sure there's like an actual term for it. But, you know, people praised that game and loved it when it first came out. And it was fantastic. Then after the Game Awards, there was a shift. And people were saying, oh, the story is actually bad. And, oh, Spider-Man 1 is actually better. It's like, I don't know. But yeah, so as a Arkham game, like I was saying, as an Arkham game, it's bad, objectively. Like, if they were to retcon this story and make it like a what-if scenario, I actually would be fine with that. Before, I would be like, no, this is this is canon. This is purely canon, and it is it is what it is. Deal with it, you know? But now I'm like, okay, if you don't want it to be considered canon, then okay, that's fine. Then it ends at Arkham Knight, which honestly, that's how it probably should have been. I've thought this, besides it being a live service game, that this was the biggest mistake Suicide Squad made, was being in the Arkhamverse. Like, I get it, you wanted to, you know, cater to the Arkham fans. So, for some reason, you thought this was a great way to do it, Rocksteady. I don't know. Having it's, I know you have a pre-established world with Batman, but you don't have one with the Flash or Superman or Green Lantern. So when we kill these Justice League members besides Batman, we don't really feel bad doing it because we have no connection. The only connection people would have is if they're already fans of the character themselves. But this iteration of these characters, the only one we have any connection with is the Batman in this universe. But yeah, those are my new thoughts on the game. As a live service game, I will say I think it's pretty good. It has potential to be better. Like I like I said, or like I, I'm saying, like I think I said this in my last video. But as long as they add more incursion missions to do, and you know, they have the battle pass coming out, which helps. I think this game is salvageable, but right now it's just, it's not great. I honestly can't wholeheartedly recommend this game anymore because of me finally I guess quote unquote seeing the light. I'll tell you guys this right now I won't be making any more shill typey content when it comes to this game anymore because you know I never meant to be a shill but that's just kind of what ended up happening. Like WB didn't pay me at all. Just looking back at my videos I was just like wow I was really shilling this game for free wasn't I? Like, oh my gosh. But yeah, the idea of making, like, theory videos for this game really isn't that fun anymore. I might still do, like, a 10 characters I want to be DLC or something like that. But theory videos, I think, might be out the window. I had, like, a whole video idea on talking about the Bat Family, but I just don't care anymore. <laughs> at least as much as I did before. But yeah, in hindsight, I was wrong. It is what it is. The game is still fun, and I still am curious to see what they do with the story next. So now you're probably wondering, okay, so what's what's going to be up with the uh, with the content? If you're not making theory videos or anything, what's the main shtick with Suicide Squad and this channel? Well, Suicide Squad, I'm going to cover every season and tell you guys and kind of review every season's story and stuff. I might do it episodically, actually. I think I'm going to do that. Every episode, I will make a video talking about it, and every season, the first episode of it, I'm going to talk about also how the character plays, the new one. So, throughout the story for season one, I'm going to play as the Joker, even though I have no... I honestly have... I, I don't care about the Joker, if I'm being honest, to main him at all, but, you know, I'm willing to give him a shot because, you know, it's good to level him up anyways get him up so to those who have been playing suicide squad kill the justice league since launch has your opinion changed at all on the game besides looking in hindsight on how the game has performed and like have played through the story like what are your thoughts on this game now do you still think it's salvageable do you think it's doomed or do you still think it's a great story let me know in the comments down below i'm very curious to hear your thoughts and, uh, yeah, one more thing before I go, I will be streaming Suicide Squad Season 1 starting on the 28th, this Thursday. 
So be sure to stay tuned for that. Twitch.tv slash Brandon can win is where you can go to watch it. I've also, if you're not interested in Suicide Squad for some reason, even though you're watching up to this point in the video, I do stream Stardew Valley on there occasionally. And uh, yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell when you do. And uh, yeah, so long and good night.